What's up, Good Life family? It's Forrest here. Just want to come to you guys with today's 128 moment. And I was reading this morning in our Good Life journal reading for the day, which was John chapter 5. And I thought there was a timely story before I get in. I just pray that um, wherever you're at today, if you're quarantined and social distancing, just pray that you would feel the peace and the love of God in your life wherever you are. And let's dive in just a little bit of what we see in the scripture today is John chapter 5, and kind of the context of what's happening is Jesus and his disciples, they come to an area of the city where it describes there being people who are lame and paralyzed and blind. They're they're in this area, they're looking for healing. And I thought it was particularly interesting that it says in verse 6, that it says that Jesus saw him, that there's a particular person that Jesus sees, and Jesus asks him, do you want to be healed? And in verse 8, I love this. It says that Jesus said to him, get up, take your bed and walk. And it says this, it says, and at once the man was healed and he took up his bed and walked. Now, it's an incredible story of not only Jesus healing, Jesus seeing a man in the middle of his brokenness. And if you keep reading in John 5, there's this whole discussion that breaks out about should Jesus heal on the Sabbath and the religious leaders have issue with it and all kinds of craziness. The reality is that Jesus saw someone in their brokenness, and he was willing to heal them. Now, I believe that same thing is possible for for us today, which is simply that, man, as a people, we're pretty broken right now with what's happening in our culture and our society. And I just want to say that Jesus is still a God who sees us, and he cares for us. And I believe that Jesus still has the same authority to heal and to save. And I would encourage us as a church family to let's be the people that Um, before we, you know, freak out and have anxiety about the moment. I know it's really hard not to in today's world with everything swirling on in the news. Let's remember that Jesus still has the authority, that the same Jesus we read about in John 5, who can see someone and heal them, he's still reigning in authority today. So I would encourage us to be people that go to Jesus, that acknowledge his authority in prayer, and then pray for healing, not only for those of us that, you know, may get ill, but let's pray for our country for healing to occur, and let's pray for, in general, the authority of Jesus to reign over anxiety um, in our nation and our world today, and that he would be in the business of healing, that we would find a cure for this thing, and that we would come on the other side. Let's be people who fight this situation with prayer and acknowledging the authority of Jesus.